The most powerful rocket in the world lifted off, causing the ground to shake for miles and debris to crash down onto this van in the launch zone. But after a successful liftoff with 10 million pounds of rocket fuel, the unmanned starship suddenly exploded. As we promised, an exciting end. SpaceX says it self-destructed the rocket because some of the boosters were not firing. This is their first integrated test flight. Uh, it won't be their last. Um, and they're going to take what they learned from here and um, go from there and figure out what they do next. SpaceX boss Elon Musk wants to launch Starship into Earth's orbit with the eventual goal of taking humans back and forth to the moon and even Mars. It's designed to eventually carry 100 passengers and to carry 100 tons of cargo for just $50 million. Compare that to the old NASA space shuttles, which cost $1.5 billion to lift only a quarter of that weight, not nearly as far. This a rocket can launch so much more payload into space. For example, uh, they will launch a huge number of satellites. Making it cheaper to launch satellites could improve life here on Earth with everything from more accurate weather forecasts to better navigation systems. But it won't be easy. Musk put the odds of reaching orbit yesterday at 50-50, saying just clearing the launch pad would be a win. President Kennedy said uh, 60 years ago, we go to the moon not because it's easy, we go because it's hard. Space is hard. And so anytime you're going to fly in that very hostile environment, it's going to be difficult. The debris fell into the Gulf of Mexico. SpaceX will work with authorities to recover it. Okay, a failure, I guess, of sorts, but it's hard. I mean, it's literally rocket science. Yeah, it's new technology. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what they do next. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.